Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, glory goes to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishops of Great Millstone, well, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers pushing out this word. Truth is a serious brother, coming back with another lesson through spirit power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhach, Wadash. Shalom to all the believers out there. This is a little quick, uh, Lord's will, straight to the point lesson. This is a, a, a walk and talk lesson. I just been kind of meditating today on what I wanted to go into. I was trying to get into something um, earlier, but you know, the spirit is now allowing me to, you know, got some time and, and to do something. I, like I said, I was trying to figure out well, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot to talk about. Of course, Holy Spirit got to be, you know, working with you to feed you. So in this case, I'm just going, like I said, I'll, I'll just turn it on the recorder and just, and just speaking, you know, um, and, and just see what the spirit, you know, take me, see where this lesson goes, you know, and um, again, we, we always speak about, you know, the end, uh, the end of Esau's world. And, you know, another thing I was, watch, I was watching, what brother I was watching earlier today, uh, what brother, was the brother in Texas, somewhere in Texas, I believe, or Atlanta, no, the elder in Atlanta, you know, um, he was going to, you know, betrayal and stuff like that, and going into his lesson, um, speaking about how your, your faith, your, your faith is going to get tried, okay, and we're, we're going to come into some very, very heavenly, uh, you know, times in which your faith is going to be tested. Let me, um, let me bring you off this revelation. All right. And, um, you have Israelites that are not really Israelites of the Heavenly Father. I'll say it like that. Let me just bring this out real quick. Okay. Let me bring out Revelation 2. You have Israelites that are, that are, you know, this is just like a, it's like a sport. It's like a, it's like a get together. It's like a, a hangout. You know, they're they're in it for all the wrong reasons. And um they don't really know what they're involved in. They don't they you know, it's a it's it's pretty much just like a you know, it's it's just a hangout, you know, essentially. It's just something to do. It's just you know, w one moment it was the Muslims, that was something to do. You know, at one point it was, you know, to be a Christian, you know, to be a five percenter, to be a more and now, you know, it's to be a Hebrew Israelite. And, and this is how uh, they look at they look at what's going on. They don't understand what's going on. OK, bear with me. Let me just bring this out. Revelation two and ten. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Let's look at this word tried. All right, because pretty much all our faith, you know, um, what we say we believe in Yah Basham you know, uh keep you know the keeping of the commandments is done within faith, being brotherly, doing our lessons, you know, being separate from this world, all these different all these great things, right? But that's the, you you get if that's e that's easy. You see what I'm saying? That's easy in most regards. But what's gonna be the, the challenge is when your faith is really tested. All right, when when you're in a life and death situation, when, you know, everything is going wrong, if you will. OK, like the elder, he was going into, you know, your family just getting up and leave. You know, you 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 losing your family and that that has become a reality for some. And it, it can be even um, um, it, it, it's, it's still on the table. I just I should say, let's look at this word. Try. Bear with me. Where is this? Right there. Okay. Pirazo. Pirazo. Okay. In the Greek, uh, G3985 Pirazo. And we go into this every once in a while to try whether a thing can be done to attempt, endeavor, to try, make trial of, test for the, the purpose of asserting his quality or what he thinks or how he will behave himself. So as this place, uh, you know, collapses, 
and you see a lot of people misbehaving themselves as there already are now, you know, will the scripture speak about how iniquity shall abound? The love of money shall wax cold. There was, I was watching the news earlier, this is some mainstream news. I'm, you know, I'm like at a relative's house, just watching some mainstream news, and all that's on the news is just crime after crime, crime after crime, crime after crime. There's no, you know, feel good stories, if you will. It's just nothing but crime, because really, I mean, of course, that's what they want to feed you, but that's actually what's here. Okay, it's crime. All right, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's sorrow. It's mourning. All right, people being kidnapped, being raped, being chopped up, being this, being that. Okay, so when, when this, when all hell breaks loose and things really start collapsing, you don't have your, your pizza, you don't have your wings, you don't have your Coke and your Pepsi, you don't have, you know, uh, your comfort, you can't go to the club, you can't party, you can't play your music, all right? Now, now the test begins. If anything, this is all rehearsal. Okay. Right, so the, the Lord is doing this. He's bringing in E. All right, Esau. He's, he's going to collapse. See, the, the Heavenly Father's collapsing all this. He's doing this to see how we will behave ourselves. See, who's going to behave themselves in this time? Okay. Uh, give me a second. Definition C. To try or test one's faith. See? To try or test one's faith. This is a this is the, the, the test or the trial of our faith. Because right after this, right, it's pleasures evermore. It's the kingdom. You know, I'll be meditating on it, you know. Um well you know what? Let me get it. Let me get it. Uh, it's, it's, it's. Give me a second. I think that's how. It's in Second Ezra. Bear with me. Let me see if I can pull this up. Second Ezra. Yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Right. Yep, let me, okay, yep. This is 2 Ezra 7 and, and 12. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. That, this, this is our reality. Okay, um, what is that? Uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Let me see something. I'm gonna come back here, but this this is the. Uh, just give me a second. This is this. Is, we're, we're, the earth is a place of judgment. Okay. All right. Where's that at? Just bear, just bear with me. Just bear with me. Or is it three? Judgment. Okay, see, I was I was right there. I didn't go far enough. Okay, yep. This is Ecclesiastes three. Slocky for that. Three and sixteen. It says. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So what's the place of judgment? What's under the sun, the earth? Okay. And that's that's what's uh that that's what we have today. It's, it's just nothing but uh judgment, wickedness, iniquity, okay, instead of a place of righteousness, the earth, which the earth is going to be in a righteous state. It, it wasn't intended for the Heavenly Father to have the earth, you know, um, you know, be wicked for eternity. OK, because there's judgments, you know, there's judgments when you when you commit iniquity. 
So let me read that back in, in Second Ezra, the seventh chapter. Because that's this is what we're experiencing, all the, the little trials. You, you know, you have stomach aches and you got back pains and you got, let, you know, you can lose your children. You can lose your family. Those are all tests within themselves. And then you're going to also have that hour of temptation, which is going to be a greater test, a greater trial of your faith. OK, but this, that's that's part of this. That's the straight. That's the straight in there. And we and we warn and we exhort, OK, the body to, you know, to, to think upon these things. And as the scriptures say, to arm yourself likewise with that same mind. OK, um, he has uh, uh, with the same mind as Yahweh Shai. All right. Knowing that you're going to have to, you know, suffer. Second Ezra 7 and 12. Then were the interests of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. Right. This is a very painful experience. <laughs> you know, down here on earth, it's not a pleasurable experience. All right. Especially if you have been called into this thing, which, you know, all are partakers of the chastisement. Even if you, you know, you so-called live, you know, live relatively good, which is nothing other than a, uh, a consolation prize. It's still full, filled with nothing but chaos and evil within your life. Are right, you have one of these entertainers, these Jakes, just for example? So we, we, you know, we all know entertainers and so-called the, the lavish life, right? And then the, the woman will leave them in the kids and take that and take half their money, and you know that's a that's a terrible experience. I mean, they're able to bounce bounce back on some regard, but a lot of times that that actually destroys people. And, and that and what about? What about your 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 peace of mind, your soul? Do you are you you're bitter? You might come out in the forefront, you know, in front of everybody, and play like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm good. But that's a bitter experience for for you know your you know something of that magnitude just to be able to do that, and then they'll shame you. Okay. It says. For the interests of the the, el the elder world were wide and sure and brought forth immortal food. If then they that live, uh, they that live labor not to enter these straits, these these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for the right. So if we don't if we don't actually go through the trial. Right. And endure the trial. How, how can we. How can we how can we receive the good things? How can we how can we receive uh, the ever? How can we receive the kingdom everlasting life? The heavenly father has put these things in, in front of us. Well, just for example, he, what did he do to his son? He could have just gave, he could have just gave his son the kingdom. And, you know, he could have made all Israel, uh, the Israelites, you know, holy. He didn't have to put them in slavery. Right. He could have just made them holy. Have the other nations serve him. Well, he could have made the Lord could have he, he could have made uh, all the nations the same. He could have made everybody love each other. But did he did he do that? No, he didn't do that. Because that's not how the way that's not how the Heavenly Father set it up. This is just how he set it up. You you have to you're going to have to fight. All right. To obtain everlasting life. OK, it's going to be a trial. It's not going to be handed unto you. Which some Israelite groups, you know, deceitfully convince their uh, congregation that. You know, you're just going to enter into the kingdom. You know, all the suffering is gone. You know, now that you know that you're Israelite, not, it's just begun. Now, now you know why, now you know why you're suffering. Okay. Let me read that again. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. You see that? So you're not you, you if you don't go through let me go back let me go back to uh revelation okay if you don't if you don't actually go through this trial and if you don't have faith because this this is going to be a, just a trial of pure faith it's not going to be a carnal thing which the lord is going to take care of us carnally it's going to be carnal uh, uh miracles but they're going to be done in the spirit the holy spirit Okay, and you're gonna be, and then sometimes the Lord ain't gonna be there. You just gonna have to deal with it. Now, can you can you deal? 
And we pray that we all can, you know, we pray that we can. But you're going to see these people, they're going to bug the hell out. OK, they're going to be they're they going to be in a, in a real bad case. OK, they're going to be in a real bad case. Revelation two, they're going to they're going to fail that test. The majority of the Israelites are going to fail that test. The two thirds. OK. It says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So we're we're constantly bringing out these scriptures, these same scriptures to let you know. All right. When these things come, don't fear none of these things. OK. All right. It says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. OK. The beast, which is uh, Esau, the system, this, this N to the W to the O, the system that he's setting up, that he has right before us. And when the whole C-19 happened, right, you had like Australia, you had New Zealand, you even had China. Well, China's not part of the beast, but they're, they're controlled by Esau. Right, but you have certain countries that they were really draconian and they actually lock they actually lock people up because they didn't they uh they weren't doing what the government wanted them to do. And that's pretty much gonna be part of that trial. You not doing what the government wants you to do as pertaining to taking this M A R to the K, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna cast they're gonna cast some of us into prison. That's gonna be our that's going to be our trial. OK, and, and you're going to have individuals that's going to break. They're going to consent. It tells you that in second edge of the 16th chapter, how those those that the, those that consent shall be had in derision because he's not he's not doing all these things to to to, you know, to to make you better. He's not doing all these things to, to heal you, to save you. All right. He's doing all these things to deceive you manipulate you and to control you all right and to put you in a digital slavery all right for uh perpetual you don't give a shit about you but see that's not what he's going to tell you he's going to come with fair speeches he's going to come with smooth words he's going to come he's going to come deceitfully and you're going to have and he's going to play on your flesh he's going to make it seem like he didn't do anything but all, all the you know all the, the whole time he's the one who calls all these things that happen all right, to you. But see, it's really the Heavenly Father using Esau. So we've been giving a heads up how things are going to go down. Okay, it says, and ye shall be, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. I'm sorry, let me read that again because I missed a point. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So some of us, other believers, will be thrown into prison to detention centers. OK, these different uh, camps uh, that they have on all these different, you know, TV shows and movies about outbreaks and shit like that, you know, in times of chaos. Right. That ye may be tried. See, it's all a trial. All right. Just as the Lord, he tried men uh, in the past, just like he 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 put his son through that trial. He could have just gave him the kingdom. He could have said, here, here, here you go, son. You ain't got to go through nothing. He's just, he's just given to you. But see, that's why it makes it it makes it that much precious. OK. Let me um, let me see where I'm at. It says. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So the elect member, they're going to have a mindset of. Fuck it. You just put me to death, you know, and the Lord with the spirit on you. But of course, these, these are uh, these are thoughts. These are the scriptures to meditate upon, to to actually be in that spirit. All right, it's just like you know uh, uh, a professional athlete. They train, right? They train daily, so when when it's game time, they can actually do what their their mind want. Their body can do what their mind knows what to do. You see what I'm saying? It's like that muscle memory. You can't run a marathon and be competitive and expect to win you you know on a couch eating potato chips you know you don't do no you don't do no running you haven't ran in 10 years and you 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 truly expect to you know go out and and and, and win the marathon or win the pressure professional fight or be competitive in anything no so it's the same thing but in a spiritual aspect of preparing your mind 
understand the times and the seasons, um, rejecting this current war world and staying upright. OK. Uh, uh, studying. Right. You know, you're reading, you're watching your videos, you're doing your videos. If you're if you're called to do that. All right. You're 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 helping out the prophets if you are a help. OK. Tithes. You see what I'm saying? You're praying to the Heavenly Father in the correct names. And you're 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 suffering patiently the wrath that is upon you. OK, the, the righteous indignation of the Lord. OK, in, in hopes that hey, when the when the when gain when a bell rings. OK, you can you can withstand. It says, be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So that's our. That's what we've been commanded to do. Be faithful unto death. So death, death is all around us. OK, you got uh, death angels all around the, the really the world. But here in America, it's like crazy. All right. And um, when when that time comes, it's going to be turned up and people going people are going to be really afraid of death because they don't understand death. We've been called in this thing to understand death and understand, excuse me, what death really implies. The scriptures talk about how um uh, blessed are those that you know pretty much die, die, die in the faith. Your works are gonna follow you, okay. And what are what are these people in the world? What what are their works? All right, iniquity. So of course their their latter end, they expect it to be, you know, judgment. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm close it there. It was just a little quick little video. I pray you know the lesson was edifying. Until next time, shalom to the left.